guys today i am here to tell you why your natural hair journey never works out as you plan hey guys welcome back to my channel i am miss lauren lee 11 and today as i stated in my intro i'm going to be telling you why your natural hair journey never works out as it plans so i'm going to be giving you a timeline just a short one of my moisture journey as to why our hair never acts the way we want it to or our journey never works out in the way that we would expect as the saying goes we make plans god laughs so guys, just carry on watching because I'm going to give you a quick timeline and just tell you the steps that I took and mistakes and tips that I can show you how I got my hair to where it is today. Nice, long, thick and growing. So carry on watching. So guys, as you can see, this was before protective styling back in April 2020. And this is another style I'd done and I'd done a video with this as style actually. It was the S Curl Gel video. And before I started my protective styling, if you remember guys, I straightened my hair at some point in 2020 with hair grease. So then guys, in October 2020, I decided that I wanted to have my hair in a protective style. And I was going to leave it like this and not wear wigs, but I decided the style didn't suit my face. And this is where my hair journey started to go downhill and not as I planned. So initially guys, everything was going pretty well. Obviously I'm here looking like a snack, feeling myself. <laughs> this was one of my first wigs that I bought in a long time and this was a straight wig. I loved it. It's human hair, it looks natural and my hair was braided nicely underneath it and everything was going according to plan. Then in the same month, I bought this curly wig, which I love and I've actually now cut it into a short bob, which you'll see later on in this video. Anywho, I was keeping my hair moisturized, I was spritzing it every other day, I was greasing my scalp, so in the beginning it started off fine. So this was the first time I took my hair out of the cameras after a month guys, yes after a month my hair grew tremendously, it's looking pretty healthy, I didn't notice any adverse effects at this point. Um, however, as I didn't wash my hair out of the cane rows, I washed it in cane rows, but I didn't wash it out of the cane rows for a month, so I didn't really deep condition my hair as well as often as I should have, I didn't deep condition it at all. Yes guys, I know, I was being lazy. I thought I'd just put my hair in cane rows and the cane rows did the magic for me. No guys, you have to put in the work. I was so excited about this new thickness and length that I've now gained with my hair. I decided to wear it out for a few days, but I actually started enjoying wearing my hair in a protective style and experimenting with my wig. So I decided after a while, I was just gonna put my hair into cane row for a little bit longer. So back into cane row, my hair went and let the wig wearing commence. So here you got your pixie wigs, you got your headband wigs, you got your curly wigs, and last but not least, you got your box braided wigs. All the while though, guys, I was ignoring the damage that I was doing underneath my wigs because I wasn't maintaining the proper moisture and protein levels. So jumping forward to February 2021, I decided that I was going to give my hair a rest from the protective styling and maybe try a twist out. As you can see guys, the results were kind of dire. It was a fail. I had damaged my roots guys. All this new growth that I had received had now been damaged. But guys, don't worry, it's not irreversible. I managed to fix it in the end, as you can tell. However, I was freaking out, I'm not gonna lie. How did I damage it, you may ask guys? Well, I'm gonna be very honest with you. It got to a point when I was wearing my wigs, I did not moisturize my hair, I did not deep condition it, I did not spritz it with any water or liquids, what have you, I didn't seal it, I didn't do anything to my hair. I was literally just taking off a wig, putting another one on, I didn't even touch my hair. So guys, these were the consequences. Fortunately for me, I did the Afogee protein treatment and it was a godsend, it saved my hair. As you can see on my roots, they're starting to get some type of definition. The moisture levels were back, even though I was putting protein in my hair. It's just what my hair needed. Once my curls came back, I breathed a sigh of relief and I put my hair in twists. I didn't want any more cane rows in my hair. <laughs> I was done with it at that point. So all I decided to do, guys, was just give my hair some TLC. I moisturized her, yes I did. I washed her with a moisturizing shampoo, deep conditioned with heat, put a leave-in in, put hair grease in, spritzed my hair in between, and there you go. So one of my lovely subscribers suggested that I try the Ethiopian hair butter treatment, which I did, and it just imparts so much moisture, guys. So as you can see, it done a great job in fixing my curls and defining them, and I was so happy to use this, and it will actually be a staple in my regimen. So now my roots had become curly and I had my curls back, <laughs> I decided that I was going to start doing a wash and go again. 
So initially I was in love with my wash and goes and I loved the definition but after a couple of attempts I decided that the gel was making my hair a bit too dry and I was just trying to maintain all the moisture that my hair could take. So this takes us to the current time which is now July. I tried another wash and go but I was using hair grease and water only and well and a leave-in and as you can see guys my hair looks moisturized, fluffy, voluminous, beautiful ringlets. I have to say that this wash and go was a success. However, my go-to style is usually box braids, and as you can see, this is a takedown of a box braid, and it is long, thick, healthy, shiny, juicy, defined, all the above. So this last slide shows you my three-strand twists, which I done a three-strand twist out with hair grease and water, and this was the last video that I did, so you can check that out now. And here, guys, I am showing you all the videos in my video playlist that helped me to get my hair back to where it needs to be. So all of these videos that I'm circling right now, these are the ones guys that helped my hair and helped the damage and now my hair is great. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to know these hair tips that I have mentioned in the video, I have put up cards at different frames throughout the video, but I've also put down the video links in the description box. And I have also added the videos, guys. I'm making this easy as possible for you. I've put three videos up at the end that you can go ahead and watch that I have mentioned in this video today. So don't forget to go ahead and watch one of those videos now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a lovely day, guys. Bye.